look at how cute all of these flowers are. And look at how delicious this food looks. Oh my gosh. Like, I wonder... Mm. I wonder like what kind of eggs those are though. I wonder if they're like from some sort of giant prehistoric ostrich. Oh, everything just looks so cool. What a fantastic way to be. <gasps> mushrooms! And there's even cute little mushrooms on a tree stump. All right, I've seen everything I need here. I am content. <laughs> Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to our life here in the prehistoric era of Roots of Pacha, where we have just finished our rite of passage along with three of the other younger members of our clan, and we're kind of celebrating with everyone right now, which is great. They're basically our found family. We do have our adoptive grandmother and grandfather here, uh, but no adoptive grandparents. We just kind of skipped that generation entirely. And, um, gosh, I mean, I don't even know who to talk to first. All right, let's just, let's start over here. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, let's start over here. You know Eoli as an apprentice healer who's always busy helping the clan in one way or another. Grob and Dari are his parents. Vor and Bra are his half-siblings. Bra being the youngest of the clan. Pacha must have great things in mind for you. Oh, thank you. I wish Jelrod would stop staring at me. I wasn't copying him. Exactly. <laughs> Jelrod being her older brother, they both are really into music. I didn't fall into the hole. I consider today a success. You know what? If you offered your whole self as like a, an offering to the roots of Pacha, I mean, as long as they didn't bury you there, that actually might be kind of interesting. Hypothetically, which would make a better leader? A boar or a horse? Oh man, a better leader? I think a horse, because they travel in herds. And, well, boars do move in groups sometimes, but I feel like uh, the ability to go ahead and move, um, hypothetically, let's see, a boar. I feel like I'm actually like stumbling upon the potential to just trip over some prophecies here, so I want to try to choose a little carefully. But at the same time, I, I'm just going to go with my, my gut. Horse. Exactly. A leader needs to move fast and look out for the group. Hey, that's exactly what I said. Like me. Ah, uh, that's right. Mana wants to become the next leader after her father, Jin. I guess there was something special about today. A pacha totem? This will be something to talk about at festivals. Oh, I love how Tani just wants everybody to have like a really great time. And Vok, the clan's shaman and the reason the clan journeyed to this new land. Ada is his sibling and she is the healer. An ancient spirit is a very powerful totem. I think I have a lot to meditate on. I wonder how he picked it for me. And the kids are just playing over here. I won't look so cool up there. You did too. Tari made me sweets. You have to try them. That was amazing. Did you see the glow of the totems too? <laughs> All right. Well, actually, you know, if everybody saw the totems, I'd freaking believe too. It'd be like, yeah, of course they're like roots of pacha. I'm going to make sure I put something very important in there. Like, truly, that would... I mean, you got my attention. And this is Grob, the clan's hunter. He's also Jin's right hand in the clan. I'm not sure I like that Pacha has more plans for our clan. I mean, that's true. That would kind of be concerning <laughs> if you're like the, the great tree spirit that rules over the world has plans for us. They say you like to live in very boring times. That, that That's the ideal. Congratulations, a tree of... Uh, Pacha Totem? How exciting. You always make me so proud. Aw, Igrok. I wonder when we got adopted into the clan. Where's our adoptive grandma? There she is. Mali, chosen by Pacha herself. What an honor. And this is Vota, a tracker who joined the clan on our journey here. Hey, that's so cool. I don't know if they showed up in like the group of uh, the relationships that I saw. I guess we really are staying here. Oh, I wonder if Vota actually prefers like traveling. It sounds like she's not content to this day. And teeth, tet, tes, tehi. There we go. Even though Bear protects my grandson, he still needs <laughs> he still needs me to make sure he puts on enough layers. <laughs> All right. What about over here? Acre. I don't know why Ibon was so nervous. She did great. And Kroll. My little girl is an adult now. I have some dust in my eye. Oh wow. So I guess I'm officially an adult now. Okay, I'm gonna take that responsibility very seriously, cause like this is this is those those kids, their lives, those elders, their lives on my shoulders. Got it. Jellarod, you even copied me for my rite of passage offering too. When will that girl stop trying to be me? 
she's gonna be an interesting one to follow. Okay, I was hoping Zelk would uh would have made it for this. Oh, where's Zelk? Don't you just love to dance? Hey, Jizu. And Juke, you looked amazing up there. Thanks, Juke. But wait, like, where is Zelk then? And this is Nock, the leader's son who would rather be in a kitchen than in front of the crowd. I thought my totem was cool. Then I heard yours. You must be so excited. Thank you. Hey, I don't think we... Did we meet Reese already? Maybe? I think so. All the pacha trees are beautiful, but there's something special about this one. Wrong? Now, that was an exciting ceremony. And Gak, the thinker of the clan, he's usually contemplating how things work. Normally, I don't like to give extra meaning to things, but a pacha tree totem seems pretty important. And Jag, the one who watches the fire, he tends to keep to himself. My rite of passage was a bit different. Well, hey now! Like, you can keep to yourself all you want, but don't leave me hanging on such an interesting story, sir. That, that's a hook. Your energy seems a little different now. Thank you, Ada. All right, did I chit chat with everybody in the co Almost, I think we missed a little group over here. No way, yeah, I talked to them, I, I did talk to them too. Yeah, I did talk to Dari. All right, I think we talked to everybody. Can I eat any of this or, let's see. Can I play with this fire? There's a little shrine. I guess that's that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and we're gonna go back. Having celebrated the rite of passage, not only for ourselves, but for all of the young adults in the clan. Oh, whoa, where am I now? Whoa, where am I now? <laughs> okay, I'm in the forest and so is like the rest of the clan, it looks like. I probably wanna go ahead and try to, I guess, dig some things up. Oh, look, you can see, oh, you can see what the different jobs everybody has are. I wonder if as time goes on, People are actually, Marie controls the weather? Or maybe she just tells us what the weather could be. Um, that's kind of amazing. <laughs> but I wonder if as time goes on, more people will begin to develop roles in the clan as we start to have new ideas about things that we could try to create or different ways we could try to live with the land. That's gonna be interesting to see. And nature, nothing discovered yet. What? Okay, that sounds really cool. It can't be a coincidence that we found you long ago and ended up traveling to this land. Thank you, Vok. So he really, he, oh, red mushrooms, yes. Oh, this is so cute. So now everybody is dispersing because we are done uh, with the ceremony. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh, is that a little baby? There does seem to be something special about this land. I mean, I agree, Jizu, but, oh, what's this? Okay, I think I'm gonna get really worn out if I try to cut this tree down, so I'm gonna stop now. But, oh, beans! Okay, that's gonna be super important. We need to go ahead, and what's this? Can I inspect? Okay, more beans, and then, okay, whatever that is isn't ready to harvest yet. Oh my gosh. Can I, it doesn't seem to respond to you. If only we could get them to trust us. Whoa! Oh wait, we had an idea about like, we, we saw these awesome goats and we we're just like, I have an idea. So settling the land is inspiring the clan to have ideas on the ways to improve how we live. Ideas require the clan to have certain prosperity and items to be developed. Okay, a new idea, approaching animals in the forest. I mean, I'm completely interested in that. Oka has a new idea. Hey, it's the mother of wolves. Oka has seen the friendly animals nearby and thinks that we can get closer. Oh, that would be so cool. So, oh, look, this is so cute. You can see the idea that she might have. Okay, well, like, I completely want to go ahead and talk to her about that ASAP. And what's going on here? It's nice to finally see green again. It was very snowy around here earlier. Fishing is a great, a great way to learn patience. That's true. Though I'm also worried about, like, the time. Oh! That's where we can actually see where the time of day is. We're the sun arcing over the top of our pacha tree. And here I thought that was just representing the seasons and I was kind of impressed. I was like, wow. Okay, we need a stronger tool to take down those trees. <gasps> Are those little bunnies? It's a bunny, a yellow bunny that we can interact. Oh my gosh, you can rename it. 
You can just rename the wild animals? Are you kidding me? This one's gonna be Carrot Hop. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, come back. Come back, you're so cute. It's a little female gray bunny and we can actually rename it. I'm gonna name it um, Dust Bunny. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. Can I talk to you guys? Oka has an idea on how to approach the animals. Talk to her. I mean, now that I know there's bunnies, like, oh, there's another one. Okay, okay. Okay, so little brown bunny. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to actually name it um, Potato. There we go. <laughs> I was just thinking about potatoes. Wait, 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 is that a black bunny that we haven't named? Oh my gosh, there's so many bunnies. They're all so cute. Okay, this one I'm going to go ahead and name Solus. There we are. After my Deathbringer in Frosthaven, in case any of you guys know that game. Mm, Chips and I are doing quite well with it. Okay, so is this still... Yeah, it's still Potato! <laughs> I love that we could already name the wild animals, but I mean, I guess that makes sense. All you really need to do to name a wild animal is sort of just point, right? So what about nature? The bunny herd and the ibex herd! Oh, that's so cool! So that's how we can see where different things are located. And we can kind of see where the animals are hanging out and the plants are available. That's so smart because of course we would want to really pay attention and really know where all of the different features are. That's what you do. That's how you kind of create your mental map is the different landmarks, especially back before maps, right? Oh, I really love that detail. It feels like I'm remembering things based off of, like I said, the landmarks instead of just some random map. Pacha gave us good hunting grounds. I have a new meat. I have new meat every Wednesday if you need some. Hmm, Wednesday. Okay, it is Tuesday right now. Uh, there's them on the bun buns. And it seems like the mushrooms did not show up as something that pops up all the time. So what about over here? Also, can I fish here? <gasps> I can! Okay, so this is like a little bend in the river. Okay, let's try to get this fish. We have to move very carefully. I think this is going to be a new type of fish. Ooh. And? Hey, we just suffered Kara! Nice! I think we might have to head home in just a second too because are my pockets full? <gasps> my pockets are full! Oh dear! Okay, I really, I really, really, really don't want to waste any of this food because that seems important. So uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drop all of my... Oh, wow. Oh, that's useful. I'm dropping all the wood so that I can pick up this mushroom and then I'm gonna run home with it. <laughs> Cause this is food and we do have a lot more sticks that we can actually interact with. Oh, I guess I can give people like gifts too, right? Maybe, oh, maybe I can give this mushroom over to uh, our, our like guy who really enjoys cooking. Huh, knock. Hunting is so boring. Who wants to stand still in the woods for hours? All right, what about a mushroom? This is perfect, like a stew with the right amount of salt. Neat, okay. So that's how we can go ahead and start working with the villagers. And if we look closely, it looks like probably every week we could give a gift and maybe do a dance. And you could also see, oh, there's still people missing. Oh, what? Okay, one, two romanceable people there. One romanceable person here. We haven't even met them. That is wild. So of the romanceable ones, now that we know everybody in town, it's Jalrod. Okay and Juke and Ma- oh Mana's romance- like romanceable? That's so cool! Okay, and then we've also got- wait is that it? Oh no 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 there's more up here! <laughs> I was like wow slim pickings but I guess the clan is small. We haven't met someone yet who's also romanceable. Huh. Oh it looks like everybody might have like two ideas. That's interesting. Okay, and then Frer the Fisher, Garrick, Okay, he, so he's he's romanceable as well. What are his relationships? Yeah, the thinker of the clan. So he's a deep thinker, which I think is interesting. And you can actually see like where he's located. Uh, Ibon, who loves playing music. Yoli, who is the healer. Jelrod, who also loves playing music and is Ibon's older brother. Wait, 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 wait. Yoli, are you, so are you the healer? Yeah, the apprentice healer. So hold up. Juke, what do you do then? I'm trying to remember. Oh, the clothing maker! Okay, now I remember. All right, well, now we're sorting out who's who of the clan. She wants us to follow our hearts, right? Oh, Yvonne. All right. 
I may be old, but my mind is sharp as ever. Now, what was I doing again? <laughs> he says as he winks. The snow has finally melted so we can explore this land. Hopefully we'll find ore and maybe some good flint. Hmm, that might be a call for us to uh, wiggle up over to the north and check on the mines. But to be honest, <laughs> my pockets are full, so we probably should go back in town, or back to the village soon. If I'm not building or fixing something, I'm probably asleep. You know what? Why not? I mean, he Kroll knows what he needs to do to help take care of, like, the clan. Might as well conserve your energy. All right. So I really want to go ahead and see if we can find where... In fact, I should probably make sure I know where she is. Where is Oka? She's currently in the center of town. Excellent. Or excuse me, the center of the village. So let's head over there. Let's drop in a contribution or two. And then let's talk to her about what we might be able to do to convince the wild animals to be our friends, because I'm totally all about that. Also, maybe following them around will show us where some of the plants are too. Paying attention to what the wildlife does usually is a great way to give yourself a little glimpse of what the land is doing that you may not notice at first. Okay, and you saw those beautiful animals too. They don't seem afraid, but don't pay us much attention either. I heard them react to some bird songs, so I asked Ibon to sing when they're nearby, but her beautiful voice doesn't seem to work. I do remember a story about animals that liked music though. Oh, interesting animal friendship. Oka remembers a story that will help us get closer to animals. Can you help me with this idea? That's so cool. So we just need to get like two more things of plant fiber and then we'll be able to go ahead. And she needs one day after that. We can talk about this later. Oh my gosh, let's go do that. Okay, so first I'm gonna yeet this in here. Um, and then actually, can I check? So the Berkina, an active swimmer with robust scales, would actually be a really good thing to contribute. I think, can, how many things can we contribute? Oh my gosh, the fish are worth so much. Um, and I wanna keep the, the like beautiful flower personally. So I guess we'll just drop all of the fish in, why not? And uh, maybe keep, maybe keep the mushroom for now, just in case it can give us stamina. It does look kind of like a doom mushroom though, if you ask me. All right, how many things can I put in? Oh my gosh. I can put in as many things as I want. Yes, I am gonna be like the best little clan gathering, like plant collector, fish catcher ever. This land makes it so I can keep my medicine box pretty stocked. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you, Ada. So let's actually go grab those two plant fiber real quick because I am extremely excited. All right, let's see. About, okay, that's dancing. There we go. I'm extremely excited to see what we might be able to go ahead and do to convince the animals to like us. Oh, and then I need to go water my carrots. <gasps> I can't just be like running off and playing in the woods when I'm clearly supposed to be watering my carrots. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, let's come down and let's discuss this idea. So let's do the research with the plant fiber. Teth would know a story about animals and music. I'll work on it. Neat, okay, so Oka has begun working on this idea. That's so cool. So she needs one day to finish this. So she's like going around the clan and like talking to people. Whoops. Eh. All right, well, I wanted mana. Hold still. I have no idea. Okay, good, I can catch up to them. We managed to build a village in the winter, but there's lots we still need to do. See, I like that go get em attitude of organization that appeals deeply to me. Dara, Dari, the clan is so great with the kids. I'm not sure what I do without everyone's help. And Jag. It took me a while to get Oka's wolves comfortable with our fire. Yes, he's the one who takes care of the fire. And actually, a firekeeper is a really important job here. <laughs> he probably was very, very busy and had to work very hard during the winter. So hats off to him. All right, now let's hold up just a second because I'm kind of curious. Is this like a rundown house right here? Oh no, sorry, somebody actually lives there. Whoops. All right, look. Okay, so up to the north is where we already have some of our plants planted. Oh, hey. Jelrod, isn't today the perfect day for a song? I think I'll skip work and do that instead. Ugh. See, I'm more, I'm more on like Mana's behalf of like, hey, she's like doing stuff. All right, but then we're gonna wiggle over here and I wanna make sure that we have our little plants grow. So back to the water skin. Whee! 
All right. And then we'll go ahead and give these guys a good little watering and yay, all right. I think we're making some really good progress, you guys. We also have a ton of seeds that we can actually go ahead and start picking from, by which I mean a, a bunch of tomatoes and then some bean seeds. So I think the next thing we're going to do is try to go ahead and, let's see, there we go. Try to go ahead and clear some more land for all of this and maybe talk to some of the other villagers to see if they might come up with some ideas. Or honestly, maybe we'll try going like adventuring. I don't know if we could make it to the cave before the end of the night, but if we can, we might stumble upon something that will give us more ideas about how to craft maybe stronger tools <laughs> so that we can really start getting going with um, improving our home here and helping everyone out. And I really like that. We're gonna blossom some friendships. But all right, if you guys could, do please leave a like for taming our adorable little bunny friends. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.